hello guys in this video i am going to introduce you to a new model called as hanyan dit it's a bilingual english chinese model and the quality of this model is amazing in the multimodal modes both in images and in text this hanyan dit is a text to image diffusion transformer with fine grained understanding of both english and chinese to construct Hanyan DIT, the researchers have carefully designed the transformer structure, text encoder, and positional encoding. They have also built from scratch a whole data pipeline to update and evaluate data for iterative model optimization. For fine grained language understanding, they have trained a multimodal large language model to refine the captions of the images. And then Hanyan DIT can perform multi-round multi-modal dialogue with users generating and refining images according to the context through their carefully designed holistic human evaluation protocol with more than 50 professional human evaluators onion dit sets a new state-of-the-art chinese to image generation compared with other open source models there are a lot of good features for this model if you look at this architectural diagram this gives you a glimpse that Hanyan DIT, as I said, it's a diffusion model in the latent space. Following this latent diffusion model, they use a pre-trained variational autoencoder of VAE to compress the images into low dimensional latent space and then train a diffusion model to learn the data distribution with those diffusion models. Their diffusion model is parameterized with a transformer to encode the text prompts they leverage a combination of pre-trained bilingual clip and multilingual T5 encoder, which supports both English and Chinese. If you look at this multi-turn text to image generation example, what we get is that understanding natural language instructions and performing multi-turn interactions with users are important for a text to image system. It can help build a dynamic and iterative creation process that brings the user's idea into reality step by step. In this section, what they have done is they are telling us how they have empowered Hanyan DIT with the ability to perform multi-round conversations and image generation. They have trained this multi-modal large language model to understand the multi-round user dialogue, as you can see, and output the new text format for image generation. On their Hugging Face model card, which I just showed you, they have a lot of benchmarking information on STXL, PixArt, and various other. And then they also compare them with these models plus on some of the benchmarks on different criteria like aesthetics, subject clarity, artifacts. And they have found out that Hanyan DIT has performed wonderfully well on all the benchmarks, especially on the aesthetics. So for instance, if you look at these text to image examples, which are in Chinese, but look at the vividness and clarity of these images look really awesome all of these examples i don't understand chinese so if you are a chinese speaker let me know how close these images are to this text amazing amazing clarity and the good thing is that you know you can talk with it and improve your images as you do the conversation look at this image and detailed retention amazing stuff and then again they have a few more examples i was able to translate it to english i think it's not a perfect translation but still good enough for the google translate in this example uh, uh, this dit is capturing the subtleties in text to produce an image that perfectly matches the user's need so if you keep scrolling down you will see a few other examples like look at this one how good is this and then this is a close-up of a fresh strawberry and you can get the sense of freshness and also it is very attractively colored amazing and there is also a brown tabletop which is not that clear but still the model was able to produce it amazing stuff and um, this is the first model which i have seen which has produced the legs of this p very very nicely amazing stuff so all in all really impressive model I wish I could install it, but the installation requirements are quite huge. You would need 
um, at least a GPU of more than 32 gig of uh, VRAM to get it running. In their paper and in their Hugging Face model card, they say that minimum is 11G. I have tried it out on my Linux Ubuntu system on 22 GB of RAM, doesn't work. So I would say that even 32 GB might be less for it. So at least go with something powerful and you should be able to run it uh, locally. I wish I could do it, but I don't have that much GPU power. But that's it guys. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let me know what you think about this model. I am quite impressed. Looks really cool. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.